is Craig Justice from the Hovercam, and today we're going to learn about the Hovercam Ultra 8 document camera. The Ultra 8 has three outputs. They are HDMI, VGA, Super Speed USB 3, which is also backwards compatible with USB 2, and a RS-232 connector. This is the, um, the power input. Now, if I were to move my hand underneath there right now, if you look carefully, do you see how the autofocus, it's focusing uh, in and out on my hand? Well, this is one of the most important buttons that I can show you. If you don't like the unit focusing in and out, right here, um, the lower right hand button, and also right there, it looks like a button with a little lock on it. That is the autofocus lock. So if you either press it on the screen here, you see it zapped right into focus, or here as well. That will lock the focus. So that's a very, very important button for you. What I'm going to do is give you a tour of all of the controls right here along the sides and also here and then also along the unit. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've already talked about the rotate button. Uh, that's right here. So once again, that will rotate 180 degrees. The next button is a freeze frame button. Look what, look what happens there. I press that, and I'm able to remove my document. You see, I took that away. But it's still uh, frozen there, so that's what the audience is seeing. Then I could go and get the next document that I wanted to show. Uh, put that here, and then once I'm ready, I hit the freeze button again, and that unfreezes. So that's the freeze button. The next um, image or button right here is a camera button. That's what we can press to take a snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, you'll notice the screen went blank for a moment. That's normal. So it's gone ahead and, and taken the image. The, there's an SD card. Um, the SD card is located uh, right here on the side of the unit, and that is included. And if I want to see the picture, um, it's stored over here in an archive, and we'll get back to that later. To go back, um, you see the arrow key right there? That's the back arrow. Press that, and I'm back now under the live camera image. The next button is the record button. So we can record directly to the SD card by pressing this button right here on the screen. Let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice um, it's now recording because um, four or five, you're seeing the timer. So I'm recording this video. We have two products. The Solo 8 is our USB product. The Ultra is our HDMI product. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Um, we can record um, you know, for probably up to about 15 minutes or so on the SD card. Um, then I have the choice, the next button right here um, is the playback button. So if I press that, I can play back the video. So this is it playing back. And um, it does record uh, sound as well. Um, and it just happens that I don't have um, a speaker hooked up, which is why you don't hear this sound. But that's the video. I'm going to go ahead now and just go back live to my camera right there. So the next um, button, and that corresponds to a button here and then also on the touch screen, is the autofocus button. So if I push that, it turns on the autofocus. Uh, so you can see it's working just fine. And if I wanted to lock the focus, that's this button right here we already covered. Let's go ahead and lock it. It's both here and there. Again, it's probably one of the most important buttons um, on the product. So we'll press it and we'll lock the focus. So next up, I'm going to start looking at the buttons here on the screen. This is important, the top one. It looks like a, a monitor. This is our source select button. So if you remember, we have um, uh, sources on the side here. The default, let's go ahead and press this, is HDMI. So if you had an HDMI uh, display hooked up, whether that's a TV or a projector, um, that's the, the default, and then it would automatically output. Now, if you hooked up a VGA source, or if you wanted to hook up a computer and use the USB, you would have to select that right here. Otherwise, you wouldn't get an image. So 
Take note, if you ever don't get an image from this product on the output, check your source video interface button right here and select the right source, and then that should work fine. The next one we mentioned earlier, um, that's where we keep the SD card and, and all the videos that, that we took and the photos that are all there on the SD card. And uh, we'll go ahead, um, and this button allows us to go back. The next button down is our controls. So we have zoom, focus, exposure, white balance, brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness, and then the default one as well. So those are the controls. Usually you don't need to know them, but it's good that they're there. The next one is our zoom button. So that's on the screen right here. So by pressing this, you get a little scroll bar and you're able to go ahead and zoom. And uh, basically you have the equivalent of about uh, 12 times optical zoom uh, built into this product. It zooms in and out very quickly. That's the live image. And so uh, that's how uh, the zoom works. And again, if you're ever here and you have the zoom um, control there and you want to get rid of it, if you hit this back button right here, then you're back to the live image. And then what we have here, I'll press that last one, that's our settings button. So we can use this to rotate the LCD, select our language, um, set the date and time and flicker control. That's something that our friends in Europe often use because they have a different frequency on their electricity and that will eliminate any wavy lines that appeared um, in the product. So that's what that's for. And also we have diagnostics. So we've covered most of the controls of the unit. The Ultra 8 is purchased by many colleges and universities in addition to schools. And very often the institutions of higher education ask about a mount for the product. So yes, there is an optional mount available for it. Um, basically, the unit sits right on the mount. Also, we have added a Kensington lock to the unit um, so that um, you can basically secure it that way as well. So thank you very much. That about wraps it up on the Ultra 8. If you have any questions for us, uh, please email us at support at thehovercam.com or visit our website, www.thehovercam.com. Thank you. Goodbye.